Welcome back to Loudon, New Hampshire, where Bobby Hamilton Jr. has won the Bush 200 here on FX, presented by AT&T Unlimited. And there's a look at your top 10. Good solid run for Hank Parker Jr. Uh, started back in 14th, just kind of hung out in the top 10 all day long. And Jamie McMurray, who showed a lot of strength early in the race, finishes ninth. Wimmer, Sauter, Jeff Purvis, Ron Hornaday, and Ricky Hendrick all finished on the lead lap. Yeah, Hornaday really gave that 26 car, I think, a good run and a nice turnaround. And, you know, it's only coincidence that the two fellows who described our race last night were scarcely seen today on coverage. Nothing intentional. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks a lot to Hank Parker Jr. and Jeff Purvis for, for coming up and uh, helping out last night. There you see Jason Keller, 32nd. Mm -hmm. But you have to give his crew an attaboy. Continue to try to get that race car out there. But his 34 consecutive races of running at the end comes to an end here today at Loudon. The point standings will take a tumble. Keller loses the point lead to Jack Spray. LaJoy, Riggs, McLaughlin, a uh, big move for McLaughlin from 8th to 5th. Kenny Wallace, Greg Biffle, Stacy Compton drops down. Bobby Hamilton Jr. from 10th to 9th, and Scott Wimmer from 9th to 10th. We're still a good battle in this Bush Series top 10. Let's meet another fellow who took on two tires on that final stop. Here's Matt. The chocolate milk kid. Now, you took on two tires, but you felt like it really didn't hurt you. Mm. I don't think our lap times are really that bad uh, because we took two tires on. I just hate I slipped there at the end. Um, you know, we had been working on it all day, and I, I think I probably had the most different line around the racetrack than anybody else. I'd get in the corner and have to go down real low, let it slide all the way up to the other, you know, the, the old groove, and then try to come back across the apron. And I had to hit it just right, and I needed all the racetrack I could. And that's why I couldn't really race hard. I couldn't, even though I could catch somebody, I couldn't get past them just because it was so, uh, it was such a odd line that I was having to use to get on the racetrack. But, um, you know, everybody did a great job on the next quick forward tours. And, uh, you know, Robert Yates' engines uh, definitely helped getting down the straightaways. But just, uh, I just hate we missed a little bit. But, you know, we needed to finish, even though we couldn't finish where we wanted to. It's, uh, it's good we finished where we did. Now, when I talked to you and Harold Holly, your crew chief, this morning in the truck, you guys were kind of guessing, not really sure what to expect today. Well, we didn't, you know, just because uh, Harold had thrown everything at the, at the race car, um, I mean, thrown everything at it. We had changed the balance so much uh, during yesterday's practice and not seen any effect on the race car. So it was something that, uh, that we were, were just missing. And, uh, you know, here we are rolling it up on the trailer right now and uh, when the trailer arm's bent. And uh, I didn't hit anything. So, you know, maybe something small like that could have done it. And, you know, just, you know, we overlooked it and couldn't see it. And uh, something happened. But, you know, my fate's all in these guys. And Harold Holly does a great job. And my fate's in him and his fate's in me and all the guys, all the... The, uh, the PPC Renegades, I call them. They all did a good job today. Scott Riggs comes home seventh here in New Hampshire. Dick? Randy LaJoy started the day in fifth position, finished the day in sixth position. But that was one wounded race car that they just loaded into your hauler. What was going on out there today to cause all those wrecks, Randy? I don't restarts. I'm not sure somebody up front uh, might have checked up and got everybody bonded up. Looks like that's what happened there at the end. Uh, I think it happened there at the beginning, too. Just caught our right front and, and knocked our right front in a little bit, body work, which tightened our car up pretty good. The old Kleenex Chevy was really good off the truck. I got to thank Wally and the guys at Evans Motorsports. They do a great job, you know, preparing these race cars. Uh, you know, but for us to contend for a championship, we're going to have to get a lot better on pit road. Uh, you know, not many cars passed us on the racetrack today, but we did get beat by a lot on, on pit road. So these guys are going to work real hard. I mean, it was a new race team last year, and they've done a great job. So uh, they know what they got to do to compete to win a championship you know we're, we're biding our own i think we're second in points the third in points we're still in the hunt and uh, we're gonna get this kleenex chevy a, a championship hopefully well you've got two championships yourself and this morning i talked to your crew chief wally rogers and he said you guys had a legitimate shot to win all the experience that you have had in this bush series is it still frustrating when you go into a race and you know you've got a real good shot to win the thing you get tied up with a bunch of things have a couple of bad pit stops and end the day in six spot instead does it get any easier as time goes on Absolutely. Yeah, it does. You don't, you, don't, you don't dog cuss the guys on the radio, you know, because they beat themselves up enough. They know what they have to do to perform. And, you know, it's just like me yesterday afternoon when I whacked the wall on happy hour, you know. It just, you know, I come in and I was aggravated uh, that I run into the darn wall and then the guy fixed the car and I went out and run the fastest laps I had all day. Uh, you know what you do and, and then you fix it. Uh, so as long as we fix it, you know, we're going to contend for a championship week in and week out. We tested in Nazareth. Uh, left there and went, went to ground zero with the guys and then that's quite a sight uh, and then we went to my dad's junkyard the guys seen a shredder working and went to spalding seen how to make golf balls and you know really it's been a it's been a great week uh just too bad we don't have to finish that we need but we're going to nazareth 
you know, Bobby Hamilton, I got to congratulate those guys, the Marines. He must have had those Marines pulling for him because they're, they're in the Winston Cup zone today. They, they had us covered really the last two weeks. Uh, so we're going to go to Naz where are we going, Nazareth next week? Nazareth next week. Then we test it. And uh, I'm looking forward to it because uh, we got some good racetracks coming up. And I, we got to sneak a win in for this Kleenex Chevy. It's coming soon. To Matt Yoakum. Well, Dick, for the second time this week, Hank Parker Jr. scores a top 10. And what I mean by that, on Tuesday, he was internet racing with his good buddy, Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Shane Meals. Shane helped draft you up to the front and take the win, but he couldn't help you out here today. But you did score a top 10 here. Yeah, when we get ready to go to Daytona, I don't know who my drafting partner is going to be. But, uh, yeah, we had a good car. We were a lot better yesterday in happy hour. And today it just was too tight to pass. I just couldn't. I, my car was good. I just couldn't pass. I was burning my brakes up and doing everything I could to get that GNC car to the front. But we struggled a little bit. Do you feel like you and Gary are gaining with this Dodge? We are. We're, you know, there was, there's a big learning curve of, ahead of us at the beginning of the year. And, you know, we're knocking out piece by piece, and we're getting better every week. But it's just... You know, we kind of get along stumbling blocks. Like, we thought we were going to be a lot better here today because of Richmond, but there's some more things we need to learn, but we're on our way to learn. Now, you are an R&D driver for Papyrus uh, with the NASCAR games. How much does that help you? Because, obviously, you beat Dale Earnhardt Jr. on the game this past week. How much does that help you really on the racetrack? Well, I didn't get a check like he got from winning <laughs> Daytona. I can guarantee you that. But, uh, um, you know, it does a lot for your concentration, your motor skills, and it's really easy to wreck somebody on the video game so you don't, you know, you, you learn how to race side by side without uh, wrecking people. And it's a great source of entertainment. It's a lot of fun and gives me a good chance to tell everybody Dale Earnhardt Jr. is my buddy. <laughs> a little Hank, eighth here in New Hampshire, Mike. Good run for him today. Folks here are waiting on the Bush North race that they'll see uh, a little later today and you'll see on Speed Channel in coming weeks. But the NASCAR Bush Series is on FX for their next three races. Nazareth next Sunday, Charlotte, in two weeks and then Dover, Delaware, all here on FX. Be right back. Another big weekend of racing coming up across the Fox networks on FX. Qualifying and practice on Friday for the Winston Open and the Winston. On Saturday, NASCAR this morning on the net, the Winston Open and Stock Car Racing's All-Star Tilt, the Winston on FX. Next Sunday, these Bush Series cars in the Stacker 2 200 on FX from Nazareth, and then NASCAR Victory Lane All Access on the net for next Sunday. Let's check with Dick Bergeron. With Scott Wimmer in the Siemens car, he uh, came into this race ninth in points. Last week, he finished eighth in Richmond, 11th today. It just seems as if every week you are there, what's happening? This team is getting better. Yeah, we're getting a lot better, and, uh, you know, Siemens Pontiac was good today. Pit stops are great. We just need to keep our momentum up. Uh, it's not long. We're going to turn the corner. We're going to be up there every week for the win. Uh, you look pretty good today. You really did. Back to Mike Joy. Well, Larry, Jeff, I think we've seen a racetrack that uh, is going to give us better racing than before, especially when the Winston Cup cars come back here in July and September. I agree completely, Mike. And the other good thing about what I saw today, with the exception, we lost you know, a couple of engines that created caution flags. I think we saw guys be able to be more competitive than ever and not really create, you know, wrecks, you might say. And I don't think it's always good for the competitors. They know they can come in and run side by side. It's a much more encouraging place to come to. Pretty competitive show here. 15 cars finished up on the lead lap uh, when Animals Attack 3 is coming up next, which has I'm nothing to do with uh, any of the... Any of the I got a bad joke there about the wreck last Friday night at Richmond. I'll just leave it on the table. <laughs> but you Never know, mind. No uh, correlation. Again, like Jeff said, only four cautions. A lot of those were either engines blown or single car accidents. And it's been a long time. I don't know we've ever been here and saw six cars bidding for the win with less than 20 laps to go in a Bush Series race or a Winston Cup race for that matter. I don't think we ever have, Larry. I think we've got to commend them for doing what they did here at this racetrack because now we can do that. Good competitive race. Our thanks to the Bear family to uh, promote this racetrack and really work hard to make sure that it's a fan-friendly and a competitor-friendly racetrack. And our congratulations to Ed Renzi, Bobby Hamilton Jr., and that whole team. Boy, talk about uh, snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. They did it twice today. And I think they definitely go straight to the top of the charts for the motto, never give up, especially Bobby Hamilton Jr. himself. Great day for him. I really am proud of that young man because he didn't quit. He didn't let last week affect his effectiveness when he got to this racetrack. This week did a great job. 16 races, 16 different winners. Congratulations, Bobby Hamilton, Jr., and happy Mother's Day, everybody.